buttermilk? Final answer. And some of them were just like, man, disgusting. Oh, this is, this smell like lotion. <laughs> lotion? What? I'm gonna pass that one. Oh, no, the avocado. Did y'all just give me cough syrup? <laughs> it's often said that we eat with our eyes first. Well, not today. It's time for the blind taste test. Oh my gosh, okay, I'm ready for this. I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. This is my favorite challenge because I went in there after getting sick that morning and I crushed it. Peach. Blue cheese. Time, next. And my best advice to you guys is don't overthink it. You'll have 10 minutes to identify as many ingredients as you can by taste alone. If you can't identify an ingredient blind, it won't be available to you when you have to cook. Got it? Got it. My biggest fear is that I will not be able to guess any of these things correctly and literally be out of luck. I can't see anything. That's the point. The point. Yeah, no. <laughs> 10 minutes are on the clock. Your time starts now. Put your hand out, Maybe. pass your little cup. Smell, use all your senses. Oh, it's like a seed. Sunflower seeds. Final Sunflower. answer? Final answer. Okay. Mm, it tastes kind of like a sunflower seed or a pumpkin seed or something. Pumpkin seed. Final answer. Next one. I'm going to say butternut squash. Final answer. Potato. Right. Final answer. Next one. I'm going to go with time. It's time. I feel like being blindfolded, my other senses are starting to heighten. Olives. Final answer. That's allowing me to tap more into smells, the textures, and the tastes of the foods in front of me. My final answer is shrimp. Crawfish. Final answer. I'm going to say mango. Final answer. This is milk chocolate. I think it's white chocolate. Final answer. I'm um, just gonna say chicken, final answer. Chicken, chicken. Okay, you've got five minutes left. Oh, yes, ginger, final answer. Yes, yeah, one of my favorites. <laughs> ginger. <laughs> <laughs> ginger. Broccoli, final answer. It's cauliflower. It's like yogurt. Buttermilk, final answer. And some of them were just like, man, disgusting. Oh, this is, this smell like lotion. <laughs> <laughs> lotion? What? I'm gonna pass that one. Oh, and the avocado. Did y'all just give me cough syrup? <laughs> 10 seconds. Um, feta cheese, final answer. This is like cheddar cheese. That's time. Catch me soon. Well done. You did great. Or did he? <sighs> well, that was fun for yeah. us. <laughs> That's one way to it. Ultimately, what I'm feeling like is coming down to is that protein. And so I am concerned. Sharila, you got 12 ingredients right. I mean, of course, I would love to get more of the ingredients correct, but my brain is just running. Like, okay, I have these components. What can we do with them? Colby, you got 13 ingredients right. I was so set on giving the judges something that was true to my southern roots, giving them some shrimp etouffee. And so I'm a little jealous that Sharila got shrimp, but I know that I can make something work with chicken. Now remember, you have 45 minutes to create a dish using the ingredients you earned, plus a very limited pantry. Your time starts now. All right. Let's get this done. Let's think about it. I have chicken, and I'm, I just want to stick it to like southern comfort. So like a chicken fried chicken, maybe, okay. and mashed potatoes, and maybe marinate it a little bit with like some buttermilk and hot sauce. Oh, we don't have hot sauce. First thing I was thinking is that I would want to do some type of sauce, kind of. Right. When I got the ginger, I was like, OK, this yeah, is like a home run, right? right? I am ecstatic that I got ginger. Literally, ginger is the base for so much of the cooking that I do. And so I know that's going to be critical to making a flavorful dish.